All right, demolition. So the rules here are, first, you're either the planter or the defender. If you're planter, you plant either one of the two bombs. Actually, you have to plant, no, you have to plant at both, both targets. You have to plant a bomb at both targets and destroy them in time. You get more time if you blow one up, but you still lose if you don't blow them both up. And then you know, defenders are trying to prevent that. So I decided I needed something to talk about while playing. So I I, I thought about this recently with the the whole elite thing. I, I've actually came up with a good argument why uh, exclusive Xbox you know, getting their maps first is bullshit, especially with this new elite stuff. All right. So first of all, I just want to say. For not talking about Elite, just map packs for, or not even map packs, DLC for anything, like Fallout or Call of Duty, whatever. Uh, what makes exclusive, or timed exclusive or whatever DLC not cool, is first of all, and, you know, exclusivity deals are done in every area of business, but the one key difference between video games and, uh, you know, any other type of industry is that the exclusivity deals hurt the customer more than they do the other uh, other company. Because that's the whole point of exclusivity deals, is to get an edge over your competition. Not to, you know, piss off your competition's customers. That's that's not at all what you want. Because it, it, in video games, like people are most likely going to have either a PS3 or an Xbox 360. They're, most people will not have both. So, so that's the first part of the argument, is that it hurts the customers, not the other company, which is what's supposed to be the point. And also, here's another thing. I'm not very good at uh, speaking and laying out arguments and stuff, but the other thing I was thinking of was that, you know, I pay $60 for a game, and so does an Xbox user. They pay $60 for the same game. Only that's not really true. They pay for a game that's it's a tad bit better for the same price, which is not all that fair. We shouldn't be paying the same price if we're gonna not get the same, you know, the same perks. Even even if it's just time, it still seems silly. It's I, I just don't like it at all. And then my. And then with Elite, it's even, you know, doubled over, because I paid $60 for the same game and $50 for the same service, but I still have to wait a month later, oh, more than a month later, to get the same stuff that you know, Xbox 360 users already have. That's, it's just, I don't, I don't like it. Not one bit. And, you know, people are just going to say, oh, you're just complaining because you're the one that never gets the maps, or gets the DLC and everything. And while that's partly true, you know, I, I definitely would not be making as big a deal of it if I got, if, if I was an Xbox user, or if it was PlayStation that got all the exclusive stuff. But I, but I would still disagree with it, hands down. It's, it's not fair to the customer. PS3 customers get gypped because Xbox, because Microsoft pays more money, essentially, than Sony does. And it's not going to entice people to go buy an Xbox, not really, anyway. Not, not enough to justify the concept. So that's my argument against uh, exclusive or timed exclusive DLC. And uh, if you have a rebuttal, post it in the comments. And I will maybe respond. Unless it's dumb. I'll not respond to dumb to dumb comments. Cause that's something I found on the internet is people are dumb. Extremely dumb. Like I, I can't bring myself to look at like forums or like if I read a Yahoo article and then go down to the comments, because what people say are just so freaking dumb. It, it just pisses me off, things that people say. I'm like, did, did you really just say that? Really? But uh, I never say anything.
a non-confrontational. Oh, hello. And you're not dead, how? Wow, oh god. Arrow Athletics. I can't really see though, this isn't the greatest spot. Wow, wow, wow. I wish there was a way to tell if they were doing that or not, more than just the visual. Because you kill someone around the corner, you don't, you don't see that. I just stunned myself. Gotta defuse it. Diffuse it, diffuse it, diffuse it. I got your back, dude. Oh, no, I don't. Crap. No. No. Oh, that would have been a great kill if I had gotten that guy. Yeah, I don't like paying $50 for a premium service, but other people are still getting more premium service. That's ridiculous. Oh, and for the record, I am totally for exclusive titles, by the way. Because that's a completely different situation, because I'm not paying 60 bucks for that game. So that makes sense to me. That's more like getting an edge over your competition rather than hurting your competition's customers. So I'm for exclusive titles, you know, Xbox has got hate. <coughs> oh, crap. Halo, Gears of War, Fable, all that stuff. And PS3 Scott Uncharted and Infamous and all that. So, that that is good to me. But if I'm paying the same price for the same game, I should get the same game. God damn. Fuck. We're not doing so good here. Okay, you're not dead, how? Oh, I'm not using... Crap, I'm not using the, uh... Why am I still using this class? I'm stupid, I'm supposed to be using this class. Why well, just waste that whole game? I, I, yeah. yeah. I would explain what I'm doing, but it's too complicated. I have a system for playing. Well, that's demolition for you.